everyone welcome back to my channel and today's topic is on chakras the chakras are taught to vitalize the physical body and to be associated with the interaction of physical emotional and mental nature as we have different parts in our body in the same way we have 72000 nadis in our subtle body or sukshma sharira nadis are not visible for naked eyes they are the subtle energies and further these 72000 nadis meet at a junction or the energy points which are called as minor chakras there are around 114 minor chakras and further these minor chakras are addressed as five to seven major chakras which varies based on the scripts puranas these chakras corresponds to a bundle of nerves major organs which impact on our physical and emotional well-being. The concept of chakras arose in the early tradition of Hinduism. Belief differs between the Indian religious. As per Buddhist text, there are five major chakras while Hindu script such as Patanjali Yoga Sutra refers as seven major chakras. Whereas in as per Tantra Shastra, there are six major chakras, which is also termed as Shat Chakra. In meditation, chakras are often visualized as lotus flower or a disc containing a particular Devi or Devatas. Let's look into the significance and Devi Devatas associated with these chakras. There are totally seven major chakras which as follows first is Muladhara Chakra next is Swadhisthana Chakra next is Manipura Chakra Anahata Vishuddha Agya and finally Sahasrara so let's discuss one by one so the first chakra is Muladhara Chakra which is also known as a root chakra which is generally visualized red in color and resides in the base of spine and the number of petals associated are four and the element earth. As per Tantra Shastra, the dormant Kundalini energy is often said to be residing here. Activities such as flow of menstrual blood, birthing of a child, removal of waste, all the downward activities in a human body is influenced by Muladhara Chakra. If Muladhara Chakra is not energized, then the basic survival will be affected. And the Devi Devatas resides in this Chakra or Lord Ganesha and Shakti in the form of Dakini. Now the second Chakra. The second Chakra is Swadhisthana Chakra which is also called as Sacral Chakra which is orange in color resides in the region of reproductive organs number of petals six associated in element water it influences on a birth reproductive health sexuality fertility menstrual health if this chakra is not energized then there will be issues with the menstrual cycle like menopause issues pcod and most of the time it leads to infertility the presiding deity in this chakra is lord brahma with the shakti in the form of rakini now the third chakra is called as manipura chakra which is also termed as solar plexus chakra which is yellow in color and resides in the navel region and the number of petals are 10 associated in the element fire as in human function, it generally aids, helps in the digestion of our food. Now, the interesting thing is, these chakras has two capabilities, but depends on the path you are in. If you are in a first path, say you are in the path in the pursuit of worldly pleasure, and the second path in the pursuit of spiritual life, in simple terms, towards attaining moksha. Based on the path we choose, Manipura Chakra will work for you. If you are in a pursuit of worldly pleasure, 
like a materialistic world you want to be successful in life rich wealthy you want to make money you want to be a more creative person if you meditate with respect to manipura chakra and energize your manipura chakra it will work as per your intention set whereas in, if you choose to work on your spiritual life you want to work on the path of attaining moksha then this is the first step in your spiritual journey if a yogi or a person who is in a spiritual journey and practices the meditation regularly and energize manipura chakra is said to be in the intermittent stage of self discovery so here in this chakra basically you have to set your intention and work on so the presiding deity is rudra which is shiva and lankini in the form of shakti now moving on the next chakra is anahata which is also called as heart chakra which is green in color and resides in heart region and the number of petals are 12 associated in the element air the anahata chakra or associated with the path towards attaining moksha as said earlier if you set your intention to elevate your soul more towards the spiritual path then your next energy the next chakra which god activates is your heart chakra basically if you worship the goddess kali and durga this chakra energizes basically these two goddesses work on anahata chakra if you visit the temple uh, like goddess kali and goddess durga temple it's said to be it's believed that your heart chakra get energizes because these dev devis work on the root of your fear they basically free you from the emotion fear so once that happen you will be in the peace you will be having lot of self love acceptance in simple terms whether it's happiness or joy pains or whatever comes into your life you will take it gracefully you are not stressed in either way so that is how this chakra works the presiding deity in this chakra is ishana rudra shiva with kakini as shakti now moving on the next chakra which is called vishuddha this is also called as throat chakra which is blue in color resides in the throat region and the number of petals are 16 associated in the element space this chakra this throat chakra is considered to be the door for moksha till here by visiting the temples by praying god by meditation by breath exercises we can energize the chakras till our heart chakra whereas in order to energize the vishuddha that is throat chakra you need a grace of guru you need a presence of guru in your life to energize your vishuddha okay and the presiding deity in this chakra is pancha vakra shiva with five heads and four arms with shakini as a shakti now the next chakra is agya this is also called as third eye chakra which is indigo in color resides between eyebrows and the number of petals are two this chakra is called as guru chakra basically if you are in a spiritual journey or if you are in a tantric practices your guru touches the third eye chakra which is present in between your eyebrows and initiate your any ritual or sadhana which you want to carry out and this third eye chakra this agya chakra is the subtle center of energy which is used to awake one's kundalini next the last chakra which is called as sahasrara it is also known as a crown chakra which is multi or violet in color resides on a crown region and the number of petals a thousand this is the highest spiritual center once conscious attains which will be neither subject nor object when the feminine kundalini shakti arises to this point it unites with the masculine energy shiva which gives a self realization and once attains samadhi as i said earlier this is a pathway for one 
person or an individual to attain moksha when some great masters gurus attend this chakra this they will be possessed by this divine energy and they have this aura around their head which you can generally see in buddhas and in the picture of buddha and all that and generally the people when they see them they get that grace and elegance from them and they often worshiped as god and the next and the final stages how to unblock this chakra see you can unblock your chakras or energize your chakras by doing regular meditation and especially meditation by setting your intentions on what you want to do you want to do for having a peace in your life or you want to achieve success or you want to attract abundance or you want to be happy or you want to have your spiritual journey started so basically you have to set your intention and start doing meditation you can energize these chakras and by practicing breathing exercises visualization and some of the techniques such as mudras bandhas kriyas and mantras and also you can do mantra meditation if you are you can chant any mantra for a specific number of times and if you are already in a spiritual journey and you are initiated by a mantra you can practice that by using all these techniques you can focus on unblocking the subtle energies through your chakra and that's all today's topic if you want to know more on chakras if you are interested please do refer these books and uh, thank you one and all for watching this video i hope you like this content thank you